Tony Romo, believe it or not, I know you won't believe this, but, you know, I get paid to look this stuff up. He's got the second best passer rating, second best passer rating in the history of the NFL in November. He generally is a pretty good quarterback November. So Tony Romo is a really good quarterback, but Dak's playing very well. And let's be totally honest about this. If you put the Cowboys schedule up, Tony Romo would have also beaten the Giants, Redskins, Bears, and Niners. They're garbage, right? Washington's not bad. Most of them garbage. Tony would have won those games. That's a fact. Tony would have won those games too. Also, we know the schedule's getting tougher. At Green Bay, Philadelphia, at Pittsburgh, at Minnesota coming up. So either quarterback's going to have some bumps. Those games are much tougher than the earlier games. So let's be honest about it. Tony would have won these earlier games too. Those are garbage teams outside of Washington, and they're not great. And we know that both quarterbacks would struggle more against these teams coming up. I mean, Philadelphia and Green Bay, the next two games, have outstanding pass rushes. Set yourself up for success. You play Dak in these next two games. The Cowboys are making a mistake bringing Tony Romo back against Philadelphia. Tony's injured, going to be a little gun shy, and Philadelphia is the best pass rush they'll face. Set yourself up for success. You let Dak play against Green Bay and Philadelphia. Not that you want him to lose, but if he's the real deal, you want to see how he deals with this pressure anyway, right? And he's younger and more mobile and healthier. And if he does get whacked a little, okay. Okay. But what you don't want to do is bring Tony Romo back. If Dallas beats Green Bay, Tony comes in and struggles with Philadelphia, because I think Tony Ordak would struggle a little with Philadelphia, then you create an avalanche of second-guessing among the Dallas and national media. Bring Tony back for Cleveland. That's what you do. You set yourself up for success. You bring Tony back with that offensive line, Tony Romo. You're winning that game in Cleveland going away. And it'll probably be off either a loss or a little bit of a bumpy game Dak against the Eagles. But it makes no sense to bring Tony back when you know how big the Cowboys are nationally and how often they're discussed. It makes no sense to bring him back against Philadelphia. You want to see how Dak can face that pressure anyway. He's younger. He's got better legs. He's healthier. If he does get popped a few times, let's see what he's like in the belly of the beast. You know what Tony does there. Tony's won against those guys. So this is a prime example of the politics of football. Be smart about it. Set yourself up for success.